Tonight should be a good night for National Light Out, where residents across the nation are asked to turn on the light, lock the doors, and just spend some time with the neighbors. Ann Strau is with me from the Appleton Police Department to tell us what's going on there. Oh, and McGruff, the crime blog as well. Hi, Ann. How you doing? Hi, I'm fine. Good. I'm fine. Tell us about National Light Out. What are we supposed to do on this night, and how did it all start? Well, National Night Out began about 26 years ago, uh, sponsored, I believe, by the National Association of Town Watch, and today it's still sponsored by them as well as the Target Corporation. And what you're supposed to do on National Night Out is get together with your neighbors on your block, get out in the street, and celebrate the neighborhoods. What it is, it's um, a program that enhances relationships between the police and the community. It enhances and builds neighborhood spirit. But most of all, what it does is it shows criminals that the neighborhoods are organized and no more of their shenanigans. And I guess you have a lot of groups. You were, she was saying to me as we were heading out here, oh, I'm counting on you for tonight. We've got 75 groups that are all, all set to go in Appleton. What are, what are those 75 groups doing in Appleton? They're, they're all having block parties tonight. So there's about 60 block parties with 75 groups, and there's going to be McGruff here and his litter of brothers. So there's going to be six McGruffs out in Whoa. Appleton visiting the parties, and we have several officers. The mayor is going to be out visiting, council people. It's just going to be a good night. Each block does their own thing. Some have cookouts, some have ice cream socials, some have pinatas bike parades. It's just a great fun night and it's a good time for the neighborhood um, neighborhoods to get together, the neighbors to communicate and all of our groups in Appleton are neighborhood watch groups that are having their meetings and parties tonight. Oh very good and um, the, 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 uh, you can count on me because it is going to be a nice night for that for those parties and such and we talk about neighborhood watch groups I mean what if a neighborhood just wants to start a watch group what do they do? In Appleton, they can just contact the Appleton Police and they'll send them to me. And okay. I'll talk to them about a startup meeting, which is maybe an hour long. I'll come out and make a presentation to them. And from there, we have a regular e-communication network going where they'll receive crime alerts from us. And we work back and forth together communicating. And that's the key to a successful neighborhood watch. It's a communication going back and forth. And, you know, as I always tell my neighborhood watch groups, the best crime prevention tool is a good neighbor, working together with your neighbors. Very true. Well, Ann, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, McGruff. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And you'll see McGruff and his litter mates out there, National Night Out. It's across the nation. And if you want more information, go to our website, foxlimitonline.com, and click on Good Day Wisconsin. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back.